Today is March 5th and the Cyber Showdown 3 event has finally arrived in Halo Infinite, bringing with it a brand new cosmetic pass, several new maps for Arena and Husky Raid, and of course a whole new wave of shop cosmetics for us to talk about. So without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. First of all, as mentioned, the Cyber Showdown 3 event is here, which can award players with 20 free cosmetic items, mostly centered around the Chimera Armor Core. There is of course a lot of filler items, such as several emblems, weapon charms, and XP boosts, but some of the armor that we do get, I honestly don't think is terrible. And I know that in itself is probably somewhat of a hot take, considering people's opinions on Chimera, and as someone who isn't the biggest fan of the core, I think some of the new armor that has released with this update honestly isn't as terrible as a lot of people were making it out to be. Now if you purchase the event pass you do get the Ember Break armor coating, this only costs 500 credits and it is cross core and in comparison to a lot of the other coating bundles that usually cost around about 800 to 600 when they're on sale, this is a relatively solid deal. This week's ultimate reward is the Signal Source nameplate, really don't care for this one, it doesn't look that visually interesting at all, but I'm sure one or two of you might like it and it'll probably be one that I do unlock as I'll be doing my challenges to complete the event pass regardless. Anyway, moving on to the store, today's daily is the D20 weapon charm for 150 credits. Next up, we have the return of the level up bundle back for 1,500. This gives you the Retroed Aftermarket Mythic Effect set, the Retroed Console Legendary Armor Effect, the Retroed Emulator Kill Effect, the Retroed Lockout Armor Effect, the Corpse Flower Armor Coating, and the Post Mortem Legendary Stance. As a whole for 1,500, I don't necessarily think this bundle is overpriced considering the usual pricing of the effect, but I do feel like these should be in separate bundles, especially Retro Console and Retro Lockout, as you can't use two armor effects on the same Spartan. The items you get here I'm not a huge fan of, but they are pretty on brand with the rest of the event. Next up, the Sundered Star armor coating is still here, and this is completely free. It's here to celebrate the release of the Halo Epitaph book and is of course based on the Didact colour palette, so make sure you pick this one up while it's still available. And while we're on the topic of free items, don't forget to log in to claim the Women's History Month coating and visor set. They don't need to be claimed on the store or anything, as soon as you log in you get access to it. The first of the new bundles is Grid Runner Splash, and this gives you the coating of the same name as well as the Daemon Reach armor effect. For 1400 this is absolutely overpriced. Just one cross core coating and an armor effect I do not think is worth this price point whatsoever. In my opinion, the armor effect itself also isn't anything too special. Next up, we have Grimgast, which gives you the helmet of the same name, the Larsenet Adaptation Helmet Attachment, which I think makes the helmet look considerably worse. You also get the Aberrant Augmented Shoulder Pads, and I kind of like these. I feel like these could work really well for a Flood build. You also get the Crux Protocol Chest Attachment, which is also kind of cool. You get the Power Assist Pad Knee Pads, which, to be honest, I think look way too similar to the default Chimera Knee Pads. You also get the Internal Restraint Utility Piece, the Viral Influence Armor Coating, the Bismuth Slick Visor, the Eclipse Phase Weapon Model for the Commando, which I think looks amazing, and you also get the Travel Yan Security Weapon Coating for all of your weapons. Now this is, I think, the most expensive of these new Chimera bundles, but in my opinion, I believe it is the best in terms of value, and I think some of the cosmetics here are pretty decent. But again, I do wish we just had the option to buy some of these items separately. The main things for me are the shoulder pad and the weapon model, and the fact that I have to spend 2,000 credits if I wanted to get those kinda sucks. The next bundle is Fomorian, which gives you the helmet of the same name, and I do think this is one of the worst ones that have released with this update. You also get the Flu Augmented Shoulder Pads, and these are pretty cool. You get the Organic Metal Extended Chest Attachment, which is also decent. The Experiment 90 Knee Pads, the Mimic Probe V5.8 Utility Piece, the Delta Dive Visor, which is kind of similar to the free one that you get on the Event Pass, and the Wave Action Armor Coating. For 1800 again, I do think this is much more on the pricey side, but it does still have some decent cosmetics. I do think it's worth considering with a lot of these shoulder pads and helmets, of course they are all fully cross core now, so even if you don't like how they look on Chimera, you might like how they look on some of the other cores. But I still think some of these prices are pretty ridiculous, just like our next bundle, Soundless Riot, which gives you an armor coating of the same name, and the Desert Hive Visor for 1000 credits, I think just a coating and a visor for 1000 credits is pretty crazy. And the next bundle, Data Core Riot, isn't much better. This gives you the weapon coating 
of the same name and the very similar name Extender Riot Armor Coating, which is just the armor version of the weapon coating, as well as the Gravestone Guard Visor. Now, although I think this one is technically better because it does come with a weapon coating too, 1,400 for just a weapon coating, an armor coating, and a visor is insanely overpriced. When you consider that the bundles that contain all of this stuff and pieces of armor tend to only cost 400 to 600 more. Next up, we have the Strigoi bundle, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right, but this gives you the helmet of the same name, which really looks like a bionicle. You also get the Luminous Adaptation helmet attachment, the Tracer Augmented shoulder pads, which are decent enough, the Conservation Protocol chest attachment, the Clinical Manipulators gloves, and I think these look pretty good. You also get the Update 2.60e utility piece, the Impact Fault Visor, which is pretty interesting, and the Ice Dream armor coating. Again, this cost 1,800 credits, which I think, with the exception of Grimgast, which costs a little bit more, all of these new armor sets do cost the same price. The next one though isn't an armor set, but rather a new armor kit, and this is Wendigo. This had already stirred up a bit of drama before it even released, as the images of the core had leaked beforehand and people weren't really happy with how it looks. And although it's definitely not exactly what I would consider a Halo armor set, I think seeing it in game, my opinion on it has been swayed a little bit, and I don't think it looks anywhere near as terrible as it did in some of those leaked images. However, for 1,800 credits, although this is one of the cheapest armor kits in comparison to Transgressor and the Combat Evolved Mark V, which both cost 2,200, this is 400 credits cheaper but doesn't come with a coating or visor or anything else, it is just the kit. And again, although it has some level of customizability, being able to change the coating and the visor, the fact that I can't use any of the armor pieces here on my own Spartan just makes it seem extremely overpriced. The next bundle is the Access Denied bundle, which gives you the epic kill effect of the same name, the Daemon Flare armor effect, and the Net War Alert armor coating. This cost 1,600 and is technically one of the most overpriced bundles here. So this one is absolutely a skip from me. I don't think the items themselves are terrible, but for that pricing, absolutely not. The next armor set is Thresher. The next armor set is Thresher, and I think the helmet for this one speaks for itself. You also get the Plasm Augmented shoulder pads, which do look pretty similar to the default ones, but with heavy modifications. You also get the Deviant Protocol chest attachment, which is decent enough. The Coil Growth Sample G knee pad which also look pretty similar to the default Chimera knee pads. You also get the Mioima Kanker utility piece, and again, I've probably pronounced that wrong. You also get the VDO plug-in wrist attachment, the Warbling Well visor, which I actually think looks really cool, and the System Alert armor coating. Overall, the cosmetics in this one are definitely not to my personal taste, and I think some of the other armor that we've spoken about does look much better. The final one of these bundles is Geist, and I think as far as the helmets go, this is probably the best looking of the new Chimera helmets. It also comes with the Injunction Adaptation Helmet Attachment, which is also pretty cool, the Velocity Augmenter Shoulder Pads, which are decent enough, the Implementation Protocol Chest Attachment, the Tacket Plug-in Utility Piece, the Tacket Plug-in Wrist Attachment, the Series 10 Shock Absorber Knee Pads, the Matrix Targeting Visor, which I also kind of like, and the Vector Trace Armor Coating. For 1800 again, pricing is just as pricey as the other Chimera bundles, but I think as a whole, this is possibly the best looking armor set, but I think the best one as an actual bundle is probably Grimgast. Although with that said, all of these do lie on the pricier side of things, all costing 1800 as far as the armor sets go, and some of the coating bundles costing almost just as much. The only one of these that I'm really considering for myself is Grimgast because there is a few things that I actually like in that bundle. I guess that also applies to Geist, and I would consider Wendigo strictly for the content potential. Although I can't really say that I recommend any of these bundles as they are pretty expensive. There is also the Net Riot Super Bundle, which gives you Geist, Thresher, and Access Denied, as well as the purchase bonuses, which are the Net Riot Weapon Coating, and that looks kind of cool, and the Fire Crash Protocol. Now, if you are considering one of the bundles in that Super Bundle, just get that because it comes with the purchase bonuses, although it does cost 3,400, which is pretty expensive. But honestly, with the new event, which I think gives you some decent enough Chimera cosmetics and the addition of Crosscore, you don't really need to be spending a fortune to make your Chimera core look somewhat decent. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, there is also some new maps, starting with Elevation, which has its own 24-7 playlist, and I believe this is a dev-made Forge map. 
set on a space elevator and it looks pretty cool and I can't wait to try that out. I will probably stream it tomorrow. As for Husky Raid, that's had a refresh today, adding six brand new maps, or at least it should have. When I am clicking on the playlist, it doesn't currently show any of them, but those should be out pretty soon, I hope. Anyway, there won't be a Spartan of the Week today as I'm going to wait to see people's Chimera builds. But if you are interested in being featured as a Spartan of the Week, make sure to join the Discord and post a picture of your Spartan in the Spartan of the Week channel. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.